king? And you never told us? Okay guys, so the first thing I did is I went to Michael's and I got these um, iron-on transfer sheets and they're just in this pretty gold color. Then I went to Walmart and I got these super basic sweaters. I got them in a size medium because they were out of smalls, but I definitely would have got a small if they had it. These are men's sweaters. So I got that green and I got this black color. I decided that I wanted Nike and Adidas. I'm going to do Nike on the black and Adidas on the green. And all I did was I went on Google Images and I searched Nike logo and Adidas logo. So you can pick whichever one you want. And when you print, you just wanna be sure to make the image as big as possible because it might come out smaller when you do the print preview. You just wanna make sure that you size it properly. There's different options. You can make it 100%. I think for this one, I had to make it 110%. Um, and this one, I think I had to click fill image to entire page or something but when you print you'll see the different options so just make sure that it fits the entire page you want it as big as possible without cutting any of the logo off because sometimes if you make it too big like this part will be gone so just make sure that it fits properly what i'm going to be doing essentially is just cutting out these logos and then placing them onto this i don't want to trace on the front of the glitter so I'm going to flip it over like that. And so the image is backwards basically on the back of it. And then I'm going to trace it onto the gold and then cut it out. Um, you can use either scissors or an X-Acto knife. I have both. I'm pretty sure I'll use this for like the inside of the circles. But all this stuff looks like it's pretty easy to cut out with scissors. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. Just remember to take your time. All right, so here's everything cut out. I only cut out the A and the D once because I can just use this twice on the gold paper. And there's the Nike logo. So now, just gonna use this X-Acto knife to get the white spaces out. Okay, so this is how it looks now that I cut out all the white spaces. I'm gonna open up my paper. It's gonna be so pretty. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this gorgeous sheet out. And it's more like, I don't know, it's very bendable, so it's not like stiff. So that is definitely a plus. You're gonna have to look at a picture while you place the letters down because you want to get them spaced out um, as close to the original logo as possible. I'm going to flip mine to the back. So this is the front and I'm putting it down. I'm going to flip it backwards. I'm going to take a sharpie, outline it, and then cut it out the same way I did the Nike off of the paper. Okay. There you have it. Now it's time to cut. Here are all my Adidas pieces. I did not put them in order because I wanted to utilize more of the sheet instead of just wasting the bottom basically. So now I can use this for something else. All right guys, so here is the fun part. I cut everything out as you can see. And I actually decided to make the sweater cropped and I made it into a hoodie. So if you guys wanna see how to do this, um, just comment down below or thumbs up. And I will definitely show you guys how to make a cropped hoodie out of a men's sweater. It's really easy, but I will definitely show you guys if you're interested. Now all I'm gonna do is take a magazine and put it in between the front and the back of the hoodie just so that I'm ironing on something flat. I took some tape, <laughs> a ghetto lint roller. So I just used the tape and got all the lint off so that this can stick down better. And so I'm about to look up a picture of a Nike logo if I can find one. Just so I can see the placement and like how it's supposed to be slanted or whatever. Okay, so these lines 
are supposed to be straight so that means I need to turn this up because the bottom of the K and all that is straight and I need it to be exactly in the middle I'll fire it because you can't be out here tacky and I think what I'm going to do actually is do this part first I'm going to do it one at a time so that I make sure that it's as even as possible because if I do them all at once then I might um one might move and it might end up uneven and place it over top of the logo gently because I don't want it to move and then I'm going to iron it into place I don't know if there's a right or wrong way to do this but I'm just going to slowly go over all of the sections and I'll do this a couple times just to make sure that it is indeed sticking Voila. yes what okay so now I'm gonna place the eye bruh bruh I wish you can see how it looks in person. The camera is not doing it any justice. All right, so moving on to the Adidas part, I sped it up just a little bit because it's the same concept. I'm just gonna place one or a few pieces down at once and iron it into place. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Once I'm done with this, I'm just gonna place these down, like maybe two at a time, and then iron and yeah i'll come back when i've done it all all right guys so here is the adidas one is that so cute i just oh look at the sparkle yes come through the wave all right so i'm gonna try them on so you guys can see so pretty i'm obsessed